merchant shows the viewers a lamp that is up for sale and begins to tell a story. <coughs> Jaffer, the royal vizier of the fictional Middle Eastern city of Agrabah, seeks a lamp hidden within the Cave of Wonders. He is told that only one person is worthy to enter, the diamond in the rough, whom Jaffer later identifies as Aladdin, an Agrabah street urchin. Meanwhile, Princess Jasmine becomes upset that the law requires her to marry a prince instead of marrying for love. She escapes the palace and meets Aladdin and his pet monkey, Abu, who save her from an angry merchant. The palace guards then capture Aladdin on Jaffer's orders. Jasmine confronts Jaffer to demand Aladdin's release, but he lies and says Aladdin has been executed. Disguised as an aging man, Jaffer frees Aladdin and Abu and brings them to the cave, ordering them to retrieve the lamp. After being told to touch nothing but the lamp, Aladdin finds a magic puppet inside and obtains the lamp. Forgetting the cave's rule, Abu grabs a jewel. Aladdin, Abu, and the carpet rush to escape the cave as it collapses. Aladdin gives the lamp to Jaffer, who throws him and Abu back into the cave, though not before Abu steals the lamp back. Trapped, Aladdin rubs the lamp and meets the genie who lives inside it. The genie grants Aladdin three wishes. Aladdin tricks the genie into freeing them all from the cave without using a wish, then uses his first wish to become a prince to woo Jasmine, and promises to use his third wish to free the genie from servitude. <coughs> Jaffer's Paradiago suggests that he plots to become Sultan by marrying Jasmine. Prince Ali Ababwa arrives in Agrabah with a large host, but Jasmine becomes angry when he discusses her fate with her father, the Sultan, and Jaffer without her. As a means of apologizing, Aladdin takes Jasmine on a ride on the magic carpet. When she deduces his true identity by mentioning Abu, he convinces her that he only dresses as a peasant to escape the stresses of royal life. After Aladdin brings Jasmine home, the palace guards capture Aladdin on Jaffer's behest and throw him into the sea. The genie appears and saves Aladdin at the cost of his second wish. Aladdin returns to the palace and exposes Jaffer's evil plot. Jaffer flees after spotting the lamp and thus discovering Aladdin's true identity. Fearing that he 
will lose Jasmine if the truth is revealed, Aladdin breaks his promise and refuses to free the genie. Iago steals the lamp, and Jaffer becomes the genie's new master. He uses his first two wishes to become Sultan and the world's most powerful sorcerer. exposes Aladdin's identity, exiling him, Abu, and the carpet to a frozen wasteland, though they escape. Jasmine tries to help Aladdin steal the lamp back, but Jaffer notices and overpowers the heroes with his magic. taunts Jaffer for being less powerful than the genie, tricking Jaffer into using his last wish to become an all-powerful genie himself. Now bound to his new lamp, Jaffer ends up trapped inside it, taking Iago with him. Genie then throws Jaffer's lamp far into the desert, hoping to banish Jaffer to the Cave of Wonders. With Agrabah returned to normal, the genie advises Aladdin to use his third wish to regain his royal title, so the law will allow him to stay with Jasmine. Aladdin instead decides to keep his promise and frees the genie. Realizing Aladdin's nobility, the Sultan changes the law to allow Jasmine to marry whom she chooses. The genie bids the group a fond farewell and leaves to explore the world, while Aladdin and Jasmine start their new life together. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Till the next one, bye.